I'd like to thank the Lord for giving me another opportunity to bring you a word of hope. If you will, get your Bibles and turn with me to John the 15th chapter looking at the 5th verse. And you will find these holy words. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. If you give me just a little, a little, a little bit, a little, a few moments of your time, I would like to talk to you from the subject to thought. Without God, I can do nothing. And I want you to realize too that without God, you can't do nothing. If God would not allow me to do this right here, I couldn't even move this little finger. Without God, I can do nothing. I can't think. I can't even eat. I can't even hold the food down on my stomach. Uh, my body won't act right. Uh, my spouse won't act right. Uh, my friends won't act right. Without God, I can't do nothing. Because the devil is a paradise buster. And he always coming in. Trying to upset us. Every time we have uh -huh, peace and harmony in our homes. And in our, on our jobs. And in our community. The devil comes in and try to bust it up. But I want you to realize. And I want you to understand something. Jesus is the true vine. And Father God is the husbandman. And we are the branches. And if we do not bear fruit. If we don't bear fruit. The Father. He purges it. He takes it away. In other words. If we can't. Understand that we ought to praise God and to believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead and be saved and try to help save somebody else by telling them the word and by living uh, the correct way that the Lord wants us to live, then we too will be cast away and burned. Every branch, listen to me very carefully now. Every branch that bears fruit, Father God purges it. In other words, He make it produce more. The more you understand about the Lord, the more you uh -huh, learn of His way and do uh -huh, His will, the better you understand how to live this thing that we call life and we'll bring forth more fruit Jesus said ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you yes the word cleanses us the word purges us from all unrighteousness you got to understand Jesus is the way the truth and the light. The life. No man comes to the Father. But by him. And no man goes to the Father. Except Christ presents him. You can get to try to get to God all you want. But if you don't go. Through the way God say to go. By believing in your heart. And confessing with your mouth. That God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I'm sorry brothers and sisters. You will be losing your mind trying to get to God. Because no kind of sin can get to God. You must be purged of your sins first. Before you can come before God. Jesus said abide in me and, and I in you. As a branch cannot. 
bear fruit of itself. A branch out there by itself cannot bear fruit. A branch by itself, you cut a branch off a tree and see what happens. It's going to wither up. Except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Jesus makes it perfectly clear that we must abide in him. We must uh -huh, worship and live and, and learn of him daily. He said, take up my yoke upon you. Take it upon you and learn of me. I am meek and lowly. My burden, uh -huh, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said, I am the vine and ye are the branches. And without me, you can do nothing. And if you can't understand that, if you can't conceive and understand that, you need to pray to Father God in the name of Jesus. And I guarantee you, he will open up your understanding so you too can bear fruit. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Now you got to ask what's in the will of the Father. You can't be asking God for all kind of things, sin and all those things, because He ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna kill nobody for you. He ain't gonna He ain't gonna give nobody wife or nobody husband. But I guarantee you, if you want a wife, He'll give you a wife. And, 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 and woman, if you want you a husband, he'll give you a husband. Let me make this perfectly clear. Man needs a wife. And a wife needs a husband. And they both need to turn to the Lord. And include him in, in your life. If you're having trouble, go and ask the Lord. Talk to God. Husband, lead your wife to the Lord. Treat her as she is the weaker vessel. And as you to abide in Christ and Christ in you, you will become one. Without God, I can do nothing. And without God, you can't do nothing. Now this is the key. This is the key. Herein is my Father glorified. You want to give God some glory? Then you bear much fruit. Ye shall be my disciples. And as the Father loved me. Jesus said as the Father loved me. So have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If you keep my commandments. Ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have my father commandment and abide in his love. You see, when you need God, you need God in your life, God will show up. Matter of fact, God don't never leave your life. For he is our creator. And he loves us. And we are his creatures. And we become his children when we believe that God. Uh -huh. In our hearts that God has raised Jesus Christ uh -huh, from the dead and we confess it with our mouth. These things I, I have spoken to you. Jesus reiterates, these things I have spoken to you that my joy might remain in you. Many times people got all kind of materialistic things. Got money in the bank, got car, got a big house, got friends, but they don't have joy. But Jesus said, uh-huh, abide in him. Do his commandments. Love ye one another. And your joy, so your joy might be full. All you have to do is trust Jesus. He came to give us life and to give it more abundantly. 
And Jesus said, Greater love uh -huh, hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Yes, ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Yes, Jesus and God is creator. Uh -huh, he uh -huh, is my provider. He is my sustainer. He is my deliverer. He is my helper in a time of need. He is uh, my sword and my shield. He is my battle axe. He is my joy and my glory. He is uh -huh, my peace in the midst of a storm. And he's, and he's all that because he died one day out on a hill called Calvary. Oh yes, he died. Oh yes, he died. But yet they pierced him in the side. Blood and water ran down to the earth. And the earth knew he was dead. And they, uh -huh, yet they pierced him in the side. They took him down mm -hmm, mm -hmm, from the cross. Put him in a tomb. Stayed in the tomb uh -huh, for three days and three nights. And early, early, I said early, early. On the first day of the week, he got up with all power. And he said, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys to hell and death. Yes, he died. But he didn't stay dead. For one Friday morning, he got up in me. And ever since that day, I've been rising and I've been falling. And I'm here to tell you that I have, I have, uh -huh, I have finally understood. And I finally, now I finally understand that I can do nothing without God. I could, I could not do this without God. I can do nothing without God. Uh -huh. Without God, my life would be rugged. Without God, my life would be like a ship without a sail. My brothers and sisters, I want you to know, you can't do nothing without God. Go out and accumulate all you want. Young people, go out and get you a a great education. Uh -huh. Go out and get you a great job. Go out and get you a big house. Go out and get you a, a beautiful spouse. But you realize and understand right now. Without God. You can do nothing. Without God. I can do nothing. Without God. My life would be rugged. Without God. I would be like a ship. Without. A sail. My brothers and sisters. Please pray for me. And I'll pray for you. Pray for your friends. And pray for your families. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your community. Pray for the whole wide world. Because right now during this pandemic, there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people don't know where to turn. Because they don't realize without God, we can do nothing.